Have you ever looked up at a towering skyscraper and wondered how it stays standing? How does it not topple over in the wind or crumble under its own weight? These are just a few of the many questions that arise when we think about the physics behind skyscrapers. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the science behind these magnificent structures. We'll explore the principles of structural engineering, material science, and aerodynamics that make skyscrapers possible. Alright, let's tackle the big question, how do these towering skyscrapers manage to defy gravity and stay standing tall? So, how do they do it? Well, here's the lowdown. Skyscrapers are built from the ground up with solid foundations that go deep into the earth. It's like they're giving themselves a sturdy anchor. The higher it goes in the air, the more sturdy its foundation has to be. For instance, Burj Khalifa's foundation is almost like a three-story building buried deep in the ground. And it's not just about being heavy. It's about being smart with the weight. Imagine a skyscraper as a giant stack of floors. Each floor is supported by the one below it. It's a teamwork thing, they distribute the weight, so no single floor has to bear the brunt of gravity's push. And that's not all, architects and engineers are the brains behind the operation. They design these buildings with materials that can handle the pressure and distribute the load. But hold on, we're not done yet. There's another cool trick, ever notice how skyscrapers taper as they go up. It's not just about the visual appeal, it's a strategic move. By narrowing as they ascend, they reduce the load higher up, like a balancing act that keeps the structure from toppling over. Alright, let's dive into the world of skyscraper aerodynamics and tackle the mysterious phenomenon known as vortex shredding. It might sound like a sci-fi term, but it's a real challenge these tall buildings face, especially in the windy urban jungle. As the wind rushes past, it can create these mini tornadoes, or vortices, around the corners and edges. Now, these vortices might look harmless, but they pack a punch, exerting pressure on the structure. But our buildings have some slick moves to counteract the chaos. Ever noticed how some skyscrapers become narrower as they reach for the sky? It's not just for the looks, it's a tactical move. Tapering helps reduce the wind's push on the upper floors, making it easier for our skyscraper to stand tall without swaying like a leaf in the breeze. It's like giving the wind fewer handles to grab onto. No, we're not talking about making the building all mushy. In the architectural realm, softening means rounding off the edges. This might seem like a small detail, but those rounded corners actually help in smoothly redirecting the wind around the building, avoiding any chaotic turbulence. Holes in the building, yes, you heard it right. But don't panic, it's intentional. Openings strategically placed allow the wind to pass through, disrupting the formation of vortices. It's like creating escape routes for the wind, so it doesn't stick around causing trouble. Now you know why Shanghai World Financial Center has a hole in its design. Ever seen a twisted skyscraper and wondered, what's up with that? Well, that's our next technique. Some buildings are designed like a corkscrew reaching for the sky. This spiraling technique is inspired by the design of chimneys and antennas. By rotating the building as it goes up, architects play a neat trick on the wind. This twisting motion helps break up the wind, making it less likely to form those powerful vortices. Now, damping is like the skyscraper's shock absorber. The gigantic ball in Taipei 101 is not for aesthetics, it has got a functional role. It's actually a tuned mass damper that absorbs the energy from wind-induced vibrations, preventing skyscrapers from getting out of control. It's like putting a cushion between the building and the wind's punches. Now, it's time to talk about another challenge that skyscrapers face, seismic vibrations. You know, those wiggles and jiggles the earth likes to throw our way during an earthquake. It's like nature decided to shake things up a bit, but skyscrapers aren't ones to be easily rattled. 
So, how do these tall structures deal with earthquakes? Well, when the ground starts to shake, these buildings are designed to sway a bit. It might sound counterintuitive, but it's a strategic move to absorb the earthquake's energy without cracking under pressure. Engineers use materials that can bend and flex without breaking. It's like the building saying, you can shake me, but you won't break me. Another trick up the sleeve is base isolators. Think of these as shock absorbers for buildings. By isolating the building from the ground movements, base isolators help keep things steady up top. Lastly, we've got tuned mass dampers. No, it's not a fancy gadget. It's more like a counterweight. Imagine a giant pendulum inside a skyscraper. When the ground shakes, this pendulum swings in the opposite direction, canceling out the vibrations. Now, let's talk about the nitty-gritty, how on earth do we make these towering skyscrapers safe and stable? Hang on, we're diving into the behind the scenes of skyscraper stability. First up, gravity, the silent force that keeps everything grounded. Skyscrapers have to deal with the constant pull of gravity, trying to bring them down like a giant game of tug of war. But architects and engineers have some serious strategies up their sleeves to keep everything balanced and standing tall. Then there's the wind, not just a gentle breeze but full-on gusts that can make your umbrella flip inside out. Imagine that force pushing against a skyscraper. It's like nature's way of testing our architectural metal. How do these buildings handle the invisible push and pull of the wind? And that's a wrap, physics enthusiasts. We've soared through the towering realms of skyscrapers, uncovering the secrets that keep these urban giants standing tall. If you've enjoyed this journey into the physics of skyscrapers, don't forget to hit that like button. Your curiosity fuels our exploration of the fascinating world of physics. Until next time, keep reaching for the sky and diving into the depths of physics. This is Physics Daily, signing off.